Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're watching, we're watching, we're reading for November 6th, 7th, and 8th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Geminis. How are you, my Geminis? Now, you know, when I'm reading for the weekend, I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll, I'll pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. Whatever the message is, my job, just to deliver to whoever needed to hear it. Um, remember, Mercury goes direct um, in Libra today, the third. But it still, it takes a little bit of time to start moving along. And then around the 10th, um, it will go back into Scorpio. It's going to still be direct, but it'll be in Scorpio. So more, you know, so secrets, secrets, secrets with communications. We will find out more as it comes closer. Let's go on. One, two, and three. The third card is reversed, strong energy. Let's see what we have for my Geminis for the weekend. Okay, first card up, the five of fire. Now, fire energy is burning, passionate. It's determined. It's going gonna, it's gonna to either help you or it's going to cut you, okay? Or, or it's going to burn you, let's put it that way. But this is your fire. This is... You're creating these changes. You're creating the, this work. You're doing more and more. It's like, I feel like you are like the forest fires. You are like the ones that's clearing the way, clearing the air out, my Geminis. Now, fire energy is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Like I said, passionate, burning, determined. Fives have a change energy, positive, negative, but it's kind of like my, my Geminis, you're saying things can't stay the same. Things have to change. And it's like you're just clearing it all out. You're just clearing it out. Um, and in some ways, there is, there, you're very focused on clearing things out. And you're like, right or wrong? You know, it, it's like when your kids have a bit, you know, I don't know about you, but I know when my kids were, you know, would, would not clean their room after many, many chances, I just said, fine, I'm going to pick it all up. Put it in a big garbage bag, and I'm going to throw it all in the garbage, okay? Never really did it. Got to the point of having it in the bag, but never quite threw it out. But you, my Geminis, you'll throw the bag out. You'll throw it out and say, I told you, I told you, I told you. There's such determination. There's such fire with this. Anyway, and you're kind of like, it. something has to give, something has to change, and if I have to make the changes for you, I'm going to make the changes for you. So, five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. Anyway, next card, the king of fire. Now, interesting with the king of fire, so it's still that fire energy. Now, the king itself, you know, remember I told you court cards have an underlying energy? The king has an air energy, your energy thinks things through. So even though I'm passionate, even though many people may not think that I know what I'm doing, you know, the thing is about you, my Geminis, you know what you're doing. You know it. You're putting it totally out there. And it's kind of like, you know, like, again, I'm going to raise, you know, R-A-Z-E, I think that's it. I'm going to raise the, uh, um, you know, the whole situation so I can rebuild. It's that type. But the king of fire not only is smart and passionate, the king sees the whole big picture. The king knows how the pieces and the players are going to fall or be played or, you know, or just be, you know, just what's going to happen. So there is a bit of manipulation here for you, my Geminis, not being done towards you, but you, you know, having that. There is a bit of, there is some Gemini manipulation in here, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, kind of like throwing throwing something into the mix and stepping back, but you do have a way of doing. You do you can do that. You can do that. I've seen that done. Remember, I had a Gemini mother. I understand that part. But you see the bigger picture, and you're you know you're like something needs to be done. And if you know if no one else is going to do it, 
I'm going to start it. Okay, but this has a lot to do also, this does have a little bit to do with work and career too. But this is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. Your last card, this one's reversed. Here we go. Justice. Oh, is that ever poetic? There's po there, Yes, this is, yes. Anyway, eight opportunities. Limited, unlimited opportunities. Justice, remember the Libra communication, you know, with Mercury. Justice is about scale. Evening things out. Evening the score out. Okay, now you're going to have to take care of this one. You know, you, you know the thing is, my Geminis, remember, there's always, now this is just, there's always consequences to actions. You may, you know, so make sure that when you are, whatever this is all about, whatever this is, make sure you're aware, you know, aware of how things fall out, okay? Make sure you're aware of the consequences. But justice is Archangel Raguel. Now, when the Archangels come up in a reading, I strongly advise that you write their name down and you, you know, you can call upon them when you need them. Now remember, that doesn't take the place of your higher power or your divine guidance or voice of the universe. You know, it doesn't take that place. But think of it as the divine guidance, higher power, sending Archangel Raguel to help you out. Now you can do that. Or what I like to do is in the morning kind of go to the Archangels. Hey, can you please help me respectfully come and be with me today? And then thank them at the end of the night. But, at, but you know, I, that's what I really like. So with that, Archangel Raguel for you this weekend. Anyway, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay? Okay. Put that up there. Anyway, let's go on. One last card for my Geminis. Okay, not reversed. The Ten of Gabriel. Gabriel is again this fire energy, okay? Tens are transitional. So, you know, so just, you know, just there's some, there's, there's a lot of movement for you this weekend. There's a lot of movement, a lot of passion, a lot of burning. But the thing is, you know, part of this is not doing everything on your own, okay? So if you're going to be making some different changes or if you're going to, you know, kind of work with the people to help you too. But again, the Ten of Gabriel says, ask your angels, Archangel Raguel, for help, okay? Okay, so anyway, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying to please, trying too hard to please others. Well, that five of fire to me is kind of like, you're done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Something's got to change, and if you're not going to make a change, if you're not going to do it, I've got to do it. Okay? Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be a, you know, what is, you know, it's going to, you're, you're, gonna, you're on fire this weekend. You're on fire. Please take care of yourself. And remember, there's always consequences. I don't want, you know, I don't want Monday morning, what is it, Monday morning quarterback to come and go, oh, why did I do that? So, anyway, my Geminis. <laughs> Have a good weekend. Okay, you know my button. If you enjoy my readings, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Believe it or not, it does help support and promote the channel. It supports me. So I thank you for that. As always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.